All right, so what if I told you that there's only 64 days left in Chapter 4, Season 4? That's it, 64 days. November 3rd is when this season ends. It's gonna be a short season unless things get extended. So every single season for the past few, I have bought all 100 tiers. Now, most of the time, I have reviewed all the Battle Pass skins, but the last two or three seasons, I have failed on that regard. Do I always do the tier 100 review? Yes. Do I always do some other skins as well? Yes. But do I do all the skins? No. I've promised like the last three seasons and I have not been able to get them done. So I'm not even gonna promise this time. I will do some reviews and I'll try to do them all, but there's no guarantees this time. So with that said, and there only being 64 days left, I have struggled to find playtime. So if you weren't aware, I do have a job outside of Fortnite and YouTube, and I do have a disabled daughter, and I do have three kids, and I do have a farm, and I do have over 30 animals. I've got a lot going on. And now all my kids are involved in sports and things like that. So as such, I don't get to play much at all. I've played legitimately 12 or 13 matches so far, that's it, that I've actually played. Now I've played other matches just to record videos real quick, but those don't really count. So I'm only level 20, and that's just because I did a challenge guide on the quests. So with my lack of playtime, it only makes sense that I need to buy all the tiers. Otherwise, I'm never going to get to reviewing any of these things. There's quite a few things I want to cover in this battle pass that I'm not going to be able to do unless I buy all 100 tiers. So normally, one of my good friends sponsors me to buy all the tiers. But unfortunately, he came across some issues this season, so he couldn't do that, but that's quite all right. He's such a great guy regardless. And another one of my friends asked me about it because she said, hey, I noticed you haven't bought all the tiers yet. Is everything okay? And I explained what happened and she said, okay, I would love to do the same, just as Learn to Earn did. So she donated me 13,500 V-Bucks just to buy all the tiers. And that is my good friend, Leslie aka Miss Marvel 311. So thank you so much, Leslie. I truly, truly appreciate it. So I just redeemed the code. You can see in the top right, I am now at 14,835 V-Bucks. What a weird number, 835? Strange. Now, as I mentioned, I am level 20, so it shouldn't cost me the full amount to get this done, but let's see how much it does cost to claim all the pages. So it looks like to get to level 100, which would be 80 levels, it would cost me 10,100 V-Bucks. And that's with the bonus pack of 25 levels at a reduced price of 1850. So about 10,000 V-Bucks. Is it worth doing this normally? Absolutely not. I would not recommend this unless you're a content creator that's looking to grind some of the content. Do not buy levels. I never bought levels before because I loved grinding and getting that satisfaction of unlocking things as you go but I can't pass up the opportunity to make content early. And that's what this is for. So let's go ahead and buy these. 80 levels, again, thank you so much, Leslie. Oh man, sometimes this glitches out. I pressed the button, it made the noise, but nothing happened, so I'm gonna press it again. Nope, it's not even gonna let me do that. It's like froze. Oh boy. Okay, did it? No, it didn't take my V-Bucks. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, maybe it did. Yes, it did, okay, there we go. Okay, luckily we can claim all the pages at once, so that'll be super handy. And we should have all the rewards now. Again, sometimes this glitches out too. This always makes me nervous because sometimes it doesn't work right. There we go. So don't forget that you also get a few V-Bucks back in the process. I was most excited for this style right here. I love this black and orange. Phenomenal. Nolan Chance. There's such great emotes in this one as well. Nothing's copyrighted in the entire battle pass. Some of the music packs are phenomenal. Fish Thick himself drinking the powder keg, the flaky beast. Gross. Such a good battle pass. Let's go all the way to the end. There's Miss May. Good stuff there. She's got a few styles in here. This is definitely my favorite skin in the battle pass. Beautiful looking skin. And she just gets better and better with all the styles. Look at that. That's amazing. Unfortunately, you can't get the pink one till the quest rewards. Nice cell shaded one right there. And here is Kato Thorne himself with the Dollar General Spider-Man mask. Here's his tier 100 plus the metamorphosis emote. That's so cool. I can't wait to review him. Stay tuned for that for sure. 
So there you go, that was me unlocking all 100 tiers. Stay tuned for some skin reviews. I'm definitely gonna cover Kato Thorn first, but if you wanna see anyone else, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get to them, but again, no promises. I always run out of time or I keep pushing it back and back and then I never get to it. But I'll try my best, I just probably won't do them all. Again though, let me know in the comments who or what do you wanna see get reviewed from this battle pass now that I have all 100 tiers. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.